Hey everybody, this is Bartimus. Tonight we're going to be playing Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. And if you have them, I highly recommend you get your headphones on. This is going to have some surround sound that you're really going to like. Or we'll scare the shit out of you. We'll see. Alright guys, let's sit tight. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing from the dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. Oh. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. They're watching. They're watching. She's getting closer. They're watching. 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 There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? I'm watching. Why isn't she doing coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already I can feel you coming. Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. But they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? It's an hell. Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you can. Yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog, the place the Northmen call hell. Look around and you'll see them. The drowned, the sick, the slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself. Growing stronger. Towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's 
like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Well, all right, how about that? You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. River of Knives. Sounds comfortable. Word of the wise, definitely check your controls before playing. The land of mist and fog. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim.
is no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. My dear beloved, Dillian. Alright, so off to resurrect the old boyfriend. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. But his soul is in Helheim. His soul still lives. She needs to reach to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? First time a hit dead body pops up, I'm gonna lose it and scream like a little girl. That's obviously where I'm supposed to go. What's back here? Nothing that I can see. Okay. speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. All right, slight field trip to the journey of the dead. The voices are going to get on my nerves. only one more voice. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see 
what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Use your eyes. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind it? It worked. Kind of a neat little puzzle. I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. That's not creepy. Don't slip. Nice and Another easy. voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make that mm -hmm. little slip. You can't just wish things away. If you fall, you will die. Caught that, did you? Step. There we go. Okay. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Yes, sir. Anything over here? Beautiful. I will say, this game is pretty. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find it. Shh! Someone's here. Let's see if we know how to use the sword then.
you want. I won't resist it. from the dark ones. towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. Oh, don't scratch it. Don't do that. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Try opening their cinema. Okay. Hard mode. Got it. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow.
it won't open. How will she get there? All right. Why can't she? And with she that, she has to fight two gods first. Two gods, two, two gates. gates. They just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful, Senua. Choose a gate, Senua. Two gates, two gods. She's too scared. Which one? And with that, we will choose next episode. Thanks for joining in, guys. Appreciate it as always. Hope you enjoy the uh, the voices in all of our heads now. Until the next beer.